Hello to everyone at the Kentucky Country Day School. My name is Joe Stanzione, and I'm excited to be uh, invited to your campus uh, to be considered as the next lower school director at your school. Before beginning a little bit about me, I'd like to share a little bit of gratitude first. Students, thank you for your perseverance. Teachers, thanks for showing up every single day and helping kids uh, with their learning. Moms and dads, parents, loved ones, thank you for understanding uh, what it's like to have kids learning from home. And teachers, thank you for being thoughtful about your decision making regarding all of your community. I am currently the elementary school principal at the American School Foundation of Monterey, located in northeastern Mexico. I have been uh, the principal for nine years. Uh, I'm excited to share with you a little, little bit about myself as, as person and professional. Uh, first, uh, I'm a teacher first, all right, I, I, I am. Um, I was a homeroom teacher for 15 years, 12 of those uh, in public schools in New Jersey. And that's where I'm originally from, New Jersey. All right? And uh, my family resides there, most of my family resides there, and uh, apart from my mom and dad who reside in Delaware. Uh, I'm joined in life uh, by my partner, uh, Lisa Stone. Uh, she and I met uh, in Monterey, Mexico. All right, Lisa originates from, uh, from Toronto, uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, and we're joined by a very spoiled dog named Reggie. A few things you might want to know about me. Uh, I am very much a lifelong learner. Uh, I enjoy my work. I have a passion for my work. I do a lot of it. Uh, I am also an avid uh, soccer fan and a Manchester United supporter. Uh, some little things, uh, I really enjoy running, uh, exercise daily, uh, going out for walks with the dog and, and, and with Lisa. Uh, I'm a coin collector. I'm a stamp collector. I like to read a lot of books. Uh, some of the books I really enjoy reading are children's books, uh, uh, juvenile novels and, and, and picture books with kids too. I enjoy doing puzzles, uh, spending time with my family. Mainly uh, the things that I think are important to know about me is that I have a growth mindset, I uh, have a passion for character, education and, and values and I really feel as though uh, Collaborative work and independent work are an important part of all the things that we can do. As I conclude this section, uh, I think it's important to know that I, I'm a believer that discussions uh, can really uh, help people come together to understand one another. Uh, I have a positive and growth mindset, and I very much value uh, character education in all things around learning. There are a lot of great things about Kentucky Country Day that I've learned so far. It's really got a, a strategic plan that is uh, supportive of a teacher's growth all right, and helping students along their journey of learning. Uh, the work at the school around diversity, equity, inclusion, belonging, and social justice are, are things that I feel as though are important all right, and, need, and necessary uh, at, a, at a school. It sounds like Kentucky Country Day is a place that values relationships, uh, values character, right, and wants to grow and wants to help its students become the best versions of themselves. And these are things that check so many boxes for me. Some of the things I think I could bring to Kentucky Country Day include a focus on social emotional learning for students. Uh, in addition, I can support teachers in their growth uh, and decision making with instructional practices and helping them build classroom communities. Right, I consider myself a systems thinker. Uh, and I feel as though my experience with values and character education uh, can be helpful uh, as Kentucky Country Day moves forward with a strategic plan. Hello to everyone. I want to welcome you to my office space uh, here. This is where I spent a good portion of my time uh, this school year. Uh, our school has been virtual the entire school year. All right, and so this is where I want to uh, share with you some of, the, some of my thoughts uh, around uh, education uh, and around leadership, all right, and building community and, and helping students grow. All right, and so what I've done is I've developed a few questions uh, that I think are important that can showcase uh, some, of the, some of that thinking and experience as well. All right, and so throughout the rest of the video, you're gonna see uh, a few questions and, and some of my responses to those. I hope they're helpful in helping uh, you understand a little bit more about me as person and professional. Learning is a process. It's a process by which people engage uh, in finding new knowledge, uh, building skills uh, and new understandings, uh, and apply it uh, in some way uh, in their world. Learning needs to be relevant. Uh, it needs to be important to the individual as well. Within learning, cognitive skills are enhanced uh, by social interactions and thoughtful independent practice. Foundationally, learning can take place because of right motivations, interest, and quality relationships in a classroom. 
If I could encapsulate my leadership style into one word, I probably would say ethical. All right, and what I mean by that is uh, leadership needs to be transformative, uh, and in doing so, uh, we empower others uh, to take on leadership roles and responsibilities. Another part is, uh, of leadership needs to be democratic, too. We need to involve people in the decision-making process and, and ask them uh, how things work for them. Finally, I'd say uh, part of my leadership style includes uh, being a supportive leader, always understanding uh, and remembering the different roles that, that people have in the school. And when we make decisions, we need to place ourselves in, uh, place ourselves in their shoes. Right? And so I think those are some things that um, really round out my leadership style. Our early learners need a lot of play. That's both intentional play and free play. They need opportunities to socially interact with one another so they can understand their place in this world. In addition, they need to develop their communication skills. A lot of that comes from environmental texts and opportunities to speak with one another in the classroom. Building their vocabulary, their receptive language, their expressive language is just so vital. On the topic of language, teachers need to be skilled and, and knowledgeable uh, about phonological awareness. Their understanding of this area can help provide opportunities for students to develop and grow with their communication skills. Teachers need to be trained in how to promote curiosity, to promote creativity in their classrooms, to be able to provide uh, options and choice and voice in their classrooms as well. Early learners need such a supportive, caring environment. An early years classroom needs to include chances for students to be creative, to be curious, to have chances to uh, engage in drama and art, and just, and just have fun and explore. I enjoy going into those classrooms to read books, read aloud, ask really thoughtful questions uh, about a story or about a topic. All right, and then I have to just probe them on their thinking and what they're, th what they're learning about in their classroom. Those are some of the things that I think are important and one of the reasons I enjoy working uh, in a preschool environment with early learners. Difficult situations arise in a school every single day, uh, and these need to be treated as learning opportunities. Uh, students need to be responsible for their words uh, and their actions. When difficult situations arise, we need to be good listeners. We need to spend time finding out what happened, going back to a situation to explore who said what and, and, and how it was said. Uh, we always want to come to some sort of understanding around uh, a resolution of how we can move forward. If we can use these difficult situations uh, where people make mistakes, uh, then I think we're on a healthy path forward to, be, to grow as people uh, and learners. All schools need to have a model of support, both in the academics all right, and in the social uh, areas as well. Schools can't have a one-size-fits-all mentality when it comes to support and learning uh, in a school. I believe in a multi-tiered system of approach. Most of my experience comes uh, with the response to intervention model, and that falls into uh, three categories, uh, tier one instruction, tier two, and tier three, and that's both for the academic right, and the, and the non-academic. Helping students to understand where they can grow is important. It's also important for teachers to feel skilled in understanding how to find root cause for where students are struggling. I believe in a blend of a push-in and pull-out model uh, when it comes to supporting students both in their academics and their social-emotional learning. I also believe that we need to ensure that teachers have strong core group classroom practices as well. At times, struggling learners may need planned interventions and some will need specialized learning plans. To have a system in place is the responsibility of the, the principal, uh, and I look forward to working with all of our learners and our teachers to help us, uh, help us understand the best ways to get the most out of kids. I'm a believer that the responsive classroom model is foundational in helping achieve an understanding of one another. The responsive classroom model allows us to explore how we are different, how we are the same, and how we can work together in our classroom community. We need something like the morning meeting model so we can explore uh, who we are, we can explore complex topics, right, and discuss how we work together. On the topic of DEI, I often think about the library and the books that kids read. Right, and the library needs to contain the books that mirror a student, 
that are a window into the students of others and also that sliding door that allows us to explore what authors are thinking about in a world we may not know. Providing staff and students with vocabulary on how to understand ethnicity, uh, gender, religion, bias, and all things around DEI is just so important. Training staff in diversity can only bring new understanding about one another and how we work with children. Fun events like fishbowl lunches right, and uh, family uh, fairs where you can showcase the uh, unique backgrounds of everyone are just so important. Mostly with the DEI work, we want students to feel as though they belong to our school community. That's just so important. Right? And it takes work with our teachers, it takes work with our students and our greater community to achieve this. Well, I've had the opportunity to be a team member for in many capacities, uh, not just in leadership, uh, but also in, in athletics and in lots of other uh, different activities in my life. And I take this role seriously. I'm a member of a few teams uh, at, in my current school, uh, both in the senior leadership level and within my uh, own elementary admin team too. Some of the things that I think are important about being a team member uh, include being an active listener, being someone who's there to spend time and, and understand issues uh, that may be coming up in someone's life, both professional and personal. You need to be a helper, all right? And you need to lend a helping hand uh, where, where needed uh, in times of crisis. Being a team player is just so important in a school, all right? As a, with, whether it be on uh, the leadership team or whether it be within our teaching teams, uh, we all need to be active participants and understand that uh, what we do and how we work together is just so vital. I feel confident in leading teams and helping teams grow. I feel as though my work in being a team member uh, has been successful uh, across all of the different roles I've had in schools. When I think about this question, I think about the stakeholders. That includes students, teachers, and parents. With students, I like to be in the hallways, I like to be at recess, I like to meet students at lunch, uh, lots of high fives, handshakes, hugs. I like to go into classrooms and spend time asking them about what they're learning and get involved in what they're doing on a regular basis. I like to go in and, and read books to kids as well. I think those are some of the ways that I connect. Uh, and most importantly, you know, asking students about their interests, about what motivates them, and where learning is fun for them. Part of my role as a principal is to ensure that a teacher is successful. And I first view myself as an instructional coach. I think good conversations about instructional decisions, uh, around relationships in the classroom, all right, and around all things learning are important. And so to build relationships uh, and to connect with teachers, you just need to spend time with them, visiting classrooms, talking with them about you know, what they're doing in their, in their rooms and, and what they're doing with their lesson planning, but also asking about them and their, and their lives and what, what interests them as well. Just like students, uh, we need to treat those relationships as, 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 a, as important pieces of, of what we do to make a school successful. Developing a connection uh, with parents is just so important. In order to do that, uh, we want to invite moms and dads and loved ones onto the campus to celebrate uh, where students are doing well, both in their academics and their social, uh, social areas. We also want to invite them in to talk about where students need some, some growth. Sometimes that means we need to have specialized plans for students as well. Uh, we also want to make sure that we're inviting moms and dads uh, onto the campus to look at some special events that are going on right, and possibly some trips that are be taking place. So we want to be able to work together because we're all in this together uh, as we help students grow. Thank you for uh, allowing me a chance to share a little bit about myself, uh, a little bit about my beliefs uh, in education and my experience uh, as, a, as a school leader. Right, uh, this video challenge has been great. It's, uh, it's allowed me a time to reflect on myself as educator, uh, allowed me time to write uh, some of the things I wanted to share with you as well uh, as a school leader. All right, and I look forward to uh, meeting with uh, the community, the community at uh, Kentucky Country Day School, all right, to be able to uh, spend some time together, getting to know one another and seeing how we can possibly partner together in learning. Thanks to everyone and looking forward to seeing you soon.